The Puri Saran Agung or the Ubud Palace is located in Ubud, Bali, Indonesia. It is a royal palace that has long had importance as a historic and cultural landmark. It was built in the early 1800 and is one of the oldest and most well-preserved palaces in the area. It was originally built to house the Ubud royal family, but as time went on, it became a cultural and artistic centre. It is a home to the opening ceremony of the Ubud Writers and Readers Festival, an annual event that brings together literary people from all over the globe. The palace also hosts nightly performances of traditional Balinese dances, one of the island's most beloved and important art forms. Ubud Palace is a great place to see authentic and well-preserved Balinese architecture and art styles. Ubud Palace is more than 200 years old and it is a great representation of traditional palace architecture. It is surrounded by Bali structures which are traditional Balinese buildings with thatched pointed roofs. There are beautiful paths in the palace grounds that are accessible to guests. Leading up to the palace is a large pool full of lily pads and fish with a walkway down the centre. The palace is also surrounded by lush gardens full of tropical plants and greenery. And in between you can see stonework and statues which are representative of the Balinese artistic styles. Here you can see lovely statues of the goddess Saraswati. Carvings on the wood are beautiful and the stonework are very artistically done. The palace has beautifully crafted buildings with high aesthetic values. The walls and doorways have a distinctive design carved in stone and of course there is also a temple inside the palace. Ubud Palace is the right place to witness the grandeur and magnificence of the Balinese architecture and art. Everywhere you can see beautiful and intricate carvings. Since it is still the residence of the royal, only the front section of the massive palace is open for the travellers. Lush green gardens surround the palace that not only enhances the beauty of the palace but are great to sit and relax. The existence of Ubud Royal Palace as a palace is equipped by an auditorium which is known as Vantilan that has a large building of meeting rooms. Palace's front section with its gardens and carvings is a visual delight while the international events on art, music and literature are held inside making this palace a cultural repository of Ubud. All around there is a lot of great art and culture to soak up and to pay attention to the details. The walls and doorways have intricate demon faces carved into the stone and there is a door at the back of the courtyard with some of the best designs, the gold winged flowers and stone monkey carvings. The area is very clean and well kept and the fish ponds are very clean and you can see the koi fish swimming. The outer wall of this building has intricate designs made on the sandstone and here we can see the red and gold wood carvings. Balinese dance performances are held nightly at the Ubud Palace. Tickets are sold in the afternoon. The dancing is done to the sounds of a gamelan band that plays traditional music. While admission to the palace is free, seeing the dances requires purchasing a ticket. This is an old banyan tree in the courtyard and it provides shelter during the summers. This palace is open from 8 am to 7 pm. After 7 in the evening, the dance performances are held in the palace. This palace will leave you enchanted as the grand edifice is simply spellbinding. Hope you like this video and we'll meet you in the next one. Till then, goodbye. Namaste.